I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy this one. I've decided to do another mountainscape scene and we're going to put a light coming source coming from here with some misty clouds and We'll see as we go on. Anybody can paint this. Anybody can paint this. It really is good. This is nickel yellow. Now I've pre-stretched my paper. This is a 90 pound weight paper. It's very light. It's the kind of paper I don't often use uh, because it is so light. But I'm going to give this one a try and I've allowed the paper to dry off somewhat from what I normally do. There's, uh, it's, the paper is just damp really. Because I don't want anything to run, I want to be able to place this and we're going to be using a colour that does tend to separate if you drop it into a pool of water. This is Naples yellow, I'm just chucking in. Splaying it out a little bit. Okay, that should create that. As you can see I've got to give it a little stir. Like I said, as it tends to separate. This is a mixture of French ultramarine and cadmium red. I just want to test this. Do remember that it will dry lighter, although that could be a little bit strong, so I'm gonna water this down a touch. Pull in towards the light source. Right up to the edge of these mountains. I'm using a dagger brush for this, um, I really like them, I don't use them all the time just in case people don't have them, but you can use absolutely any brush for this, whatever you feel comfortable with, just lift a little bit out. This is just a, a kitchen towel and I'm just wiping some areas out just to create some interest and now with a stronger mixture of the same colour we're going to darken some areas dropping it in and allowing it to basically do what it really wants to do which is flow um, I don't often use a hairdryer but on this colour, I think we may be forced to. Soften off one or two areas with a damp brush. And now I'm just going to dry this off with a hairdryer. Okay, now that the sky is dry and you haven't had to go through listening to the hairdryer going, this is just French Ultramarine on its own. And we're just going to put some shadows on this mountain down this side as it's darker on this side and the light's coming in from here. And I do want to emphasize some of this. to darken this side really, subdue it because the main feature is the peak and we wish that to stand out. Put some in here as well. Okay now then we must leave this to dry as well. Okay now that your shadow sides of these are, your mountains are dry, this is with a bluer mixture of the cadmium red and French ultramarine sending it to the blue side so it's a bit darker than the sky we're going to build the mountain up creating a ridge line and like you've heard me say before shape it with the strokes of your brush and just while that one is wet I just want to drop some yellow ochre in 
just want a little bit of variant to it just gently pulling it in softening it off using a, a dry brush almost with just some colour on and just scrumbling it in creating the hit and miss effect Just allowing some to bleed in and uh, strengthen it up. Once again, it's not everywhere. Dark in one or two areas. softening some of these rock lines in just keep going building your mountain up slowly always remembering to shape it scrumple slightly again Tiny bits of yellow walker in, in places again. Like I say, not everywhere. Soften it in. I'm moving around a bit because I, I want to come back to this mountain and I want to see how dark to get this right hand side. So have a, a thicker mixture of that which is the French Ultramarine and Cadmium Red but this is quite thick let's make this some areas reasonably dark so we're coming into the shadow side just scrumbling it in softening it all off and we may glaze over this back one with some French Ultramarine a little bit later on when it's dried. Going back to the darker mixture once again. Taking the excess off. Just again just dropping in some yellow walker on this side while it's still wet. Once again with the hit and miss effect, just scrumbling the brush in. Shaping some ridges and gullies. to be slightly darker down this ridge here just 
still softening the edges in some of these. Just a light a bit here, I think. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm going to put some of the water in now. What I'm going to do is use some of this uh, nickel yellow. I'm going to put it in with a dry brush, um, and this will leave ripples on the water, and it saves actually having to put a reflection in. And being as there's not a lot of water, I don't particularly want to put a reflection in. So I'm just scrumbling this in with horizontal lines, taking the excess off. And then we go to our mountain colour, which is the French Ultramarine and Cadmium Red. And once again, we're going to put this into the water with a dry brush effect. Then I just want to darken one or two areas with deliberate ripples. Back to the French Ultramarine Blue. And once again, I'm just going to leave some deliberate patches in of snow. Whilst we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, what I actually want to do is once again just add some more French Ultramarine into this back mountain to subdue it a little further. And that helps to push that part back, like a little over here, I think, just to help this to sink further back. Here, slowly bringing it across here. Soften off the edge with a damp brush just to create a soft transition. Okay, I think that works rather well and now I have to leave this to dry again I'm afraid because I do not want these rocks to uh, creep into the wet wash that we've just put on so that wet wash will have to dry and when it is we can continue with the foreground rocks okay now that this is dry your water what I'm going to do is lay in a, a wash of French ultramarine and burnt umber and I'm just going to leave some areas white and blue and hopefully and then we'll add some other colours into this, mainly the sky colour. But I just want to try and get this in first. So just dropping in some of the sky colour. Just lifting some paint out just to soften around the edges and then I'm going to have to leave this to dry as well. Okay we come back to our sky colour once again which is the cadmium red and French ultramarine and we're just going to pick some areas out where we can shade in and bring some of these rocks a little bit forward. Just creating some dark crags and uh, gullies wherever we can. Just 
working quickly now to uh, get these in. Softening off some areas, the damp brush. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. And we're just gonna lay in some cracks using a number four rigger. Just to add a little bit more interest to these rocks. Some deep fracture lines in. I think that's enough to sign it and once you've signed it you can mount it and then frame it I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please click the like button and if you'd like to see further painting videos if you go into the description box I will put a link in there and that will take you straight to them and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching